Hello, hello, hello. So, we are back on to the crab journey. So, what do we got? Um, so we're at 7. Um, we're going to jump back into everybody's favorite speedboat game, Speedboat Challenge. So, we've got that loaded up. You feel the need, the need for speedboat. Yep. So, we'll we'll do some speedboat, um, some crab stuff, and then the plan is is that um, friend of the stream, Angel SK, has an achievement for her crab on Sojourn. And we've been co-streaming Sojourn, so... Because we do not want to play the game solo, um, we will probably do that as a co-stream a little later. But for now, Speedboat. Because everybody loves Speedboat. Yeah, I know. I, I figured you meant Sojourn. We're probably a little bit more than halfway through it. At least. I forget how many scrolls I'm up to now. I think her achievement, though, is 40 scrolls. So... There's some work to do for her to get her crab achievement. Yeah, we made some decent progress. Um, we just haven't had a ton of time. Oh yeah, we're not guiding at all. We're guiding each other if need be, but usually it's just solo. You know, we each solve the puzzle and if one of us gets stuck it becomes like, oh, what, any tips <laughs> kind of deal. later that'll be the, the stream but for now it'll be this and I know everybody loves speedboat challenge so truly great content if I if I hate this game, like, we were stuck on this race last night, so if I'm still stuck, there's a good chance I swap to some more, um, Arkham City. But for now, we'll give this a chance. Can't wait to see who wins your uh, WAMF code. <laughs> That's a good one. Ever since I finished the walkthrough, I haven't touched it. Like we said, 14 out of 17 is easy, um, or doable for anybody, honestly. Um, it's those last three for the Deathless runs that really aren't. Um... So the thing is, is that Jungle Deathless is actually the easiest of the three. Because all you have to do is just do each section Deathless. Um, but 
only problem there was is that I did the segment idea and I did it like three times without it unlocking so I deleted my save file and and like deleted everything and restarted the game and I had to do it like four times <laughs> to get that achievement something broke yeah Um, back when uh, Sporal was still on the site. Uh, that was after a patch. So that might have been the issue. Is that the patch caused it to have a problem. Because when we first started the game, um, Carter and I were kind of like, oh, I don't know. You know, we weren't thinking about going for the 100% entirely, but, you know, figured we could. And so what had happened was, was that Carter had figured out that jungle was impossible, actually, to do Deathless back on the original patch. Like, version 1.0 for console. Because the end of the fourth jungle section had these turtle enemies and they were going down with you at the same time. And one of the turtles would always hit you at the end during the cutscene transition into section five. So it was impossible. Well, then they patched it. And then he did it. And I had done it a few times, but because of the broken nature of it, um, and I guess the patch screwing things up, I had to reinstall. So. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty bad scenario for the start. There was nothing really we could do back then while waiting for that patch to come out. But then he did Cave and started focusing on getting a Deathless run of Cave while I focused on a Deathless run of Bunker. I think Bunker is... they're about equal in difficulty, I'd estimate. Um, we eventually got them down, though. Yeah, I, I'd say you're about right there. It's not that the cave section was more difficult, but there is part of it that's a little bit longer. Um, Bunker had a couple of sections that were really luck-based. Like, there were a few sections even I did ha didn't have perfect consistency on. The maneuvers were always a little bit harder for the bunker. Um... Cave didn't take me as long. Please roll over the rest of the way. Nope. I 
I don't know, I streamed most of Bunker um, back when I, whenever I did that game. And the big thing, like one of the funnier moments was towards the end, I had a run in the final room that I choked on. I find ways to lose the last second on a lot of difficult space, difficulty based things. I was surprised when I did uh, Leo the Invincible for Leo's Fortune and didn't choke in the last level on my first good attempt where I got to that level. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so the, the, the balance here is a little bit harder to get right. I think the next m mini challenge. Oh yeah, I, I that's one I gotta go back to. Do the mirror's edge stuff. Um, but I've been working on Runbo and the the Bohemoth. Uh. <laughs> Trials haven't really done much in a while. I'll play little bits and pieces every so often. So my first run was just over an hour. Um, that's where I'm kind of trying to think, because so I did the, you know, first time, first run I got the, just finish it. Last night I did a run in just over 30 minutes, but way too many deaths for, so the question I'm asking myself is, do I want to go for the 10 death or the 20 minute version of the last one? So, I might ask some of the other platformer group how they went about it but you're saying you did time yeah 10 deaths seems a little unforgiving but if I could just cut out the a few of the deaths I move with enough like fast with urgency to probably do the 20 minute if I just cut out some of the bad deaths that I take. Because some of those rooms you just get stuck on and then like if you have a, a decent run that just dies in that room, one of those rooms. But I don't think that one's worth me streaming because it's just not the same level of challenge as some of the others. We are really far behind Team Pink. I'm hoping Team Pink messes up somewhere.
I gotta hope for a big mistake from them. Yeah, besides that achievement for the, the Bohemoth, the other ones don't look too bad. Plus, I gotta pass you, Carnage. I think you're ahead of me on the platformer board again. Can't believe that happened. It's all those trials points that I don't have. We're going to get the last secret map. For that extra little bit of coin. I've been trying to move up the board, and I, where I was up to, was I noticed it was just... Like, I think you were just ahead of me. Uh, it's not under one hour, it's under 20 minutes, I thought. Yeah, I hadn't touched it for so long after that game had been out. Okay, so if I'm starting there, it looks like you want me to go straight forward, and then there's a little bit of alcove. I think it's behind me.
Maybe not. I know what this map is, so let's let's take a look at the course. I know it's the Bavaria Speedway, this one. Let me just take a picture of this so I have it in my mind. That's what that course looks like. I'm going to see if I can go along this way on the, the path because the way that map looks tells me that it's I'm not actually at the starting place for this one. And that the actual spot for the map for the treasure is actually along this back road here. that I want to keep an eye out on my left here. There it is. I think. Yeah, that looks like a treasure. Right there. went too little on the power. <laughs> By the way, I'm up to three, like, I'm about to start uh, level 400. No, I set mine to be just Xbox One. Um, yeah, I'm on 
400 now for the new faction. I think I've accepted the fact that the 360 backlog is just never going to get really touched too much, unless it is already back compat. Back here. There it is. We're trying to go speedboat, but you know. Yeah, I'll have to get back to the delve later. Um, I, I'll need to buy at least. I bought a potion just because I'm not... There we go. Um, I was out of sigils, so... Yeah, I'm just buying as I need at this point. I'm not gonna spend more than I have to. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, if you've been, if you haven't done a pure faction though, do one because you should have the pet reward then. Oh wait, you're on 470. You should have it even if you haven't been really doing it. Wow, taken out on the first turn. Yeah, I don't know about that though, because if you only do it at 300, the first pet reward comes at like 400. And if you want the little bonus, like you should do a pet then sooner. So like, I mean, sure, about the 100, 300, 500, but it's, no, because even 350 is not going to put you high enough, I think, for the first, like, to hit 2,000 points for the faction, because first pet occurs at 2,000 faction points, so where do you, you know, what level do you get 1,500 out of the delve? is where you really need to definitely do a pure faction. So there's like, it's like somewhere between 350 and 400 is the first point you could have 2,000 points for the faction. And that's where you should do it if you're gonna do Black Shield's idea. Like yes, if you're just going for extra faction points, Fine, do it there and there and there. But if you want the pet, like you gotta do it a little bit different. I don't know, I, I think part of it is I just take a lot of what Black Shield says with a grain of salt, because He's good, but I, I find some of his ideas just a little too off the wall for me.
Yeah. It was just like towards the end of the last war. One of the tinfoil hat ideas that he mentioned was kind of just a little too overboard for me. And I was kind of like, what? He was saying that if you had gotten 40 gold in a battle with the Forest Troll Gob Truffle team and cast Forest Troll, like you had a higher chance of it getting a an extra turn if you had already gotten 40 gold in the battle. And I was just like, that doesn't set work by any standard, I think. So, I don't know. I mean, I love the new tinfoil hat idea. Oh yeah, so his idea was that when you're using Forest Troll and Gob Truffle as the, like, one of the teams, if you've gotten 40 gold in the fight, um, through like 4 and 5 matches, then when you cast Forest Troll it has a higher chance of connecting for a 4 match on green. And I was, I was just like, what? How? That, that's nothing. But he seems to believe it, so, you know. Like I said, tinfoil hat ideas. Sometimes I want to believe them. Like, I know there's some that I will swear by that actually could come true. That one, nope, I can't. I just don't believe that one. You know, I'll swear by the uh, the, ha the the mythic pull method for Fridays. The new one that was funny. I don't know if you noticed this one. It it worked for me once. I think that's why I believe it. You know, when I only spent like twenty keys that were worth anything. <laughs> um, but. The one that was really interesting, I forget who was using it. Crap. Um, but during, like, they would take a purposeful loss in casual or ranked PvP, and then they would go into their, their Guild War battle because they thought it gave them a better board. The actual battle. That one was great. That was a new level of tinfoil for me. No! <sighs> that was the perfect race to have won. They both spun out on that turn. I would have had it. But I just had to ram into a boat. No! Oh, don't you know it. Always loving this game. Top 10 best game ever. For my enjoyment. Bum, bum, bum. 
<laughs> that would be something. I don't know, there's too many to choose from. And some of them might be colored by things that don't need to be part of it. Oops, I didn't mean to hit B twice. Oh, crap. That was a waste of money. Uh, yeah, Frizzy's bad. Frizzy's up there. Um, I don't know Murder Miners, and I have Post-War Dreams have just not played it yet. I own Post-War Dreams. See, and that's the thing. Like, I don't know how I... I rationalize my like a quick 1000 or an easy completion like that was bad versus you know a truly bad game that I had to suffer through for longer like this is a worse game this is a terrible game but is this worse than some easy 1000 that was absolutely dreadful You know, is the extra time I, I suffered in this, this, you know, make it that I'm going to hate it more than... something else. So, that's the only thing. I, I don't, I'm not sure how to compare those two things. And then there's like, I personally hated Music Racer. Um, I thought the game was really bad, but you know, is that me hating it more because I thought certain people liking it so much was ridiculous? Or was it really that bad? Or was it just, eh? Like, did people give Music Racer a pass just because it was an easy 1,000? Exactly. It was those things. So, I don't know. I try to be very thoughtful about how I refer to games and all that kind of stuff and you know what makes it a game terrible but you know personal feelings are going to come into how you rate a game that's inevitable there is no such thing as objectivity in reviewing every review is going to have your own personal spin and what resonates or does not resonate with you. Or what pisses you off or doesn't piss you off. Uh, 
Uh, level 6, race 2. I need to get to level 8, race 1 for the achievement. Well, I need to complete level 8, race 1. I don't look at his reviews enough. I think it's partially because maybe I just don't see them always. So I don't know. I don't read a lot of reviews. I like, I don't know. Not something I do a bunch of. As I said though, um, earlier today we did hit, because I did uh, Duck Souls Plus on stream, um, I did surpass 777777, so there will not be a stream for that. Blew by it without thinking this morning, so. <laughs> I think I'm in your camp there, Paul. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, wait. Here's the thing. So, it says that I'm only at 777517. So, I know I'm actually higher than that, but, you know, great gamer score glitches as they are. Duck Souls was quick. It was fine. Competent. And you had to play the whole game to get all the achievements, so... Congratulations for Rattalaika doing an achievement list right. Uh, I don't remember Reed Remastered already. It's pretty sad that I've already kind of forgotten that one. Oh yeah, bird game wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, super weekend mode was a quickie. Super quickie. Mm. 
We'll give this another shot or two. If I don't win it, we'll save it for later. Because we've been on this race for quite a while. Um, we'll see. I think I'm not going to hit 30. Unfortunately, number 30 on my list is well outside, I think, of the realm of me doing it anytime soon. Uh, Zombie Army Trilogy. Uh, like, complete every campaign on hard. difficulty. So, I don't think I'll be able to do that one. I mean, maybe I'll play some of it, see if I can get an achievement or two in it, but I, I doubt I'm going to go for that one. what I haven't told you all is that this this whole speedboat challenge thing really this is going to be my full time stream game I'm going to become a speedboat challenge speedrunner Submitted to some speed game event. <laughs> right, get the world record, you know. I'm sure there's much better times out there. Right now, for this course, I am currently 50.5 seconds behind the world record. At least you can always see how you compare to the world record for every track. Okay, we're switching. Um, um, that's just not going well. But 
But then I have to take a disk out and put a disk in and... <laughs> And it's all the way up there. I'm already working on this one. Why not get back to this one? I'm Batman. Is it? Are you saying I should just go more racing? <laughs> Let me take a look at that one. And it's a career achievement. Interesting. Okay, but we're going to work on Batman. This time we're going to be animated Batman. Yesterday we were Batman Beyond Batman. So you decided to finally show up, did you? Let them go, Riddler. Oop, it didn't save that. Don't be stupid, Dark Knight. They wouldn't find themselves in the predicament they are currently in if they had tried to think just a few steps ahead. Well done, Dark Knight. You figured out how to open a door. Hey, Batman! You've got to help me! It's the Enigma Show. Oh, very good, Batman. I see you have begun to understand this room. Bathe in the glory of your primitive conquest. It will be your last. I hope you don't think that all of my puzzles will be that simple. I thought the game had saved, but I was wrong. Get me off this thing! Luckily, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't feel too pleased with Hold yourself, tight. Dark Knight. That room was one of the easy ones. Six two five nine two five. Six two five nine two five. That's what he told me to tell you. I don't know what it means, but he said he'd kill the others if I didn't tell you exactly what he said. 
Why doesn't he just tell you what he wants? Because he's insane. You don't say. Unfortunately, we can't do more Riddler. So that's the first hostage. I need to rescue two more hostages for my crab achievement in this game. So, we'll get there though. Yeah, the more Riddler secrets we can add, the better. Uh, no, no mini map. The bottom corner there, actually. <laughs> Yeah. I'll try to remember as I go. <laughs> City into one big freaking zoo and let the animals tear each other to bits. Probably too far away.
There's just so many things. The cameras will at least give me progress eventually towards the, the Riddler stuff. Yeah, but I, I really just need to make a lot of progress in the game anyway. Yeah, I'll have to look at what I did or did not grab or hit, because some of them are like gargoyles and... Yeah, um, the, for those, the question is whether or not... Like, I have the tools for them. So, like, that one, sure, but... Um, I know there's, like, some of them are, like, multi-question marks, and I need multiple Batarang pool, and I don't have that one yet. So, like, I did that one. Ooh, but that one should be doable. So yeah, I did that one actually. So the fact that it still lights up, like, it's more of a, a red herring for me. Could I remote bat battering this? No, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that one. Like I said, though, it's it's not going to be a quick one. There's a lot to this achievement that I have to do. What's the bat doing here? Too scared to fight us? Not surprised. 
So what I should really do is kind of go back onto the main story. Do you think Batman will come here? Batman! It's Batman! <laughs> And now he's out of sight. This is Penguin's turf, you freak. I'm gonna cut you up into tiny pieces for breaking in here. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Something's blocking communication back to the Batcave. Penguin must be using military-grade communication disruptors. The only way to crack this security is to destroy them. Welcome to the Cyrus Pinkley Natural History Institute. All visitors must be searched as part of our... Okay. I forgot. I, it's been so long since I played this, but there's a lot of this, like, back and forth. Go into a place? Find out you can't proceed in place. Go to the next place. Stay away from the gun box, come on. 
This is a fist fight. destroy all three on this thing. I do know that this platform here is where the final confrontation with Deadshot is. I want to be able to get the, the Riddler information. Any information I can get to help place stuff, the, the better in the long run. I don't know, is this Batman better than the one we played as yesterday? What are people's opinions on the bat choices? Playing as animated Batman is better than playing as Batman Beyond? Oh man. Agreed, being home would be good.
friend. The disruptor's fine. I mean, does anybody really think Penguin's that much of a physical, intimidating presence? I mean, yes, supervillain. Agreed. But him saying he'll choke anybody who disappoints him kind of doesn't make me go, oh my gosh. Take out that jammer. I don't know. The one thing I don't like about animated Batman is it <laughs> I mean, I know the umbrella shoots people, but chokes people? Wow. Wow, two people telling me that, that my choice yesterday was bad. I was playing as Batman Beyond Batman. Penguin sounded pissed. Batman's been screwing with his plans. Do those things even work underground? Uh, we swapped. So, I did upgrade and then... We got another level up. So, I guess... Uh, we'll get another one. Because apparently it's gonna annoy. If I leave it. But I'm here and Catwoman's not. <laughs> Yes, yesterday we played as the Batman Beyond Batman. Today we're going animated series Batman, which is a great Batman. Don't get me wrong. 
Um, as I said, though, it's it just looks off <laughs> against the realistic gritty background of the of the game. <laughs> kind of funny how off it looks as a result. Not like I can undo any of those right now. Coming back from the dead. <laughs> Coming back from the from the dead is cheating on any day of the week. So we're looking for something related to our good friend Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. I'm telling you, it's him. It can't be. He is. Look again. He looks big, right? He's gray. This post has got to be over a hundred years old. How could it be the same guy? And even if it was, how did Penguin get him? No, oh, but I'm sure it is. He's even got a name. Solomon Grundy. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I just gotta remember where it was. There it is. Let's do three. It's like it. Right? This Titan container is well protected. The only way to destroy it is to use explosive gel. I need to find and destroy the rest of the Titan containers.
what starts with a tick and ends with a shock. Do I need the line launcher for that? Not that they give you the line launcher yet. Oh. Remote battering. That was close. <laughs> I don't think I can hack it right now. Nope. We'll get it on the way out, I guess. Somewhere venomous. I'm guessing that has to do with Bane. And wherever Bane's from. Hey! That was supposed to be a perfect inverted takedown spot. What did I do? Yeah, speedboat wasn't going well, so we swapped. Here. Come on. 
I'm hoping it's not six more installments of Speedboat. That would be terrible. Oops, I killed- I knocked out the informant. Don't you know it? Why do they make you pull three? Like, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's tedium. That was the last jammer. I should be able to get into the museum now. Hey, we got an achievement. Communication breakdown. Clear the airwaves. Okay, now there should be something related to, I'm thinking Bane, like a poster or something. Because when I entered this room, there was that riddle. But there's a Riddler trophy. That's always good. There it is. Santa Prisca. Something tells me that if I do this, I'm going to get electrocuted.
detective fails to complete my challenge. Hmm. This is hardly a surprise. I always knew I was better than you. What am I supposed to do in this room? What starts with a tick and ends with a shock? What what did I miss about this? Can you defeat a mind such as mine? So I can hack the panel, but when I hack the panel, it opens up the... I didn't see anything to climb? Uh... But you might be right. No, I tried that one too. But your thought actually gives me an idea that I can't do it yet because I don't have the line launcher. So... Because I could technically line launch myself to be above the ground, and because I could hang on the line, so. Yeah. Get on. Sorry, just trying to make some good progress on crab, because this one's going to take, take a bit. Let me invite you. Then we're just going to end this recording. I'll do more of this kind of stuff later crab so but that's going to end at least this recording so